you guys, Jeff the Nature Guy. And obviously you know I talk a lot about animals, but I want to talk about plants for just a minute. I want to talk about this one that's standing right next to me, these pine trees, lodgepole pine, or what they called. And what's so neat is these trees really are survivors, and they're actually one of the first trees to kind of pop back after a forest fire. Now obviously in Montana we talk a lot about wildfires, forest fires, and obviously they can be destructive and, and can change people's lives. But I do want to also point out that, especially out in the wilderness, wildfires can be a good thing to actually help reclaim the landscape and kind of start life and, and succession and what have you. So the lodgepole pine is a great example of that. In fact, these trees need wildfire in order to survive. And what I talk, when I, what I mean by that are these cones out of here. Obviously these are the pine cones and you're going to notice that they're really sealed up. Well the crazy thing is this needs heat from a fire to open it up so the seeds drop out. So these trees rely on that wildfire to be able to spread. Now the great thing is, is right after a forest fire happens, you're gonna see these things starting to sprout up relatively quick. In fact, behind me, way over there, there was a forest fire not too long ago. You can see how that mountain landscape really changed. Give it a couple years and you're gonna see little baby uh, lodgepole pines sprouting up relatively quick. Now, of course, as humans, we do find use for these lodgepole pines. Obviously, a lot of plywood's made from them. A lot of people use these these uh, trees to build their homes. Native Americans use these trees quite a bit. In fact, they eat the inner bark. They use the resin or the sap inside for medicines, believe it or not. So these trees really do serve a good purpose, not only for us, but of course, for the environment as well. As you can imagine, these trees do an incredible job of creating some amazing habitat for a lot of the wildlife that we often talk about. So kind of a cool thing to think about next time you're up in these woods looking at these trees. They, uh, there's a lot that goes into the biology of how these trees survive, and that's pretty cool. So guys, until next time, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy up in the Beartooth Mountains checking out the Lodgepole Pine.